what's up okay so today we are doing a wig video and instead of just like throwing on a wig before i do the intro i'm like let's just let's just wear the wig cap in the intro let's keep it real i have five different wigs to share with you guys today a few of them are from the beauty supply store that i got online and the other ones are from amazon so I'm gonna leave links down below. I know you guys get so pissed off at me because I don't be leaving links in the description. Let's go ahead and get on into it. I'm super excited. I haven't worn a wig in forever, it feels like. Well. I take that back. I just wore a wig in my last video. Okay. Let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, wow. Let me go ahead and start off with the bang. I just feel like a fly Instagram model in this wig. Like the blonde, the super, super platinum blonde and the very, very blunt cut. Oof. Like I am just so booked. I've got 2.3 million followers on Instagram and I'm doing another Fashion Nova sponsorship right after this. This is like the hot version of I want to speak to the manager. That's what this is. That's what it's serving me right now. And of course, when I end up wearing this out, I'll put some concealer to make it look a little bit more natural and do some things with it. I do have a video all about how I make my cheap wigs look natural-ish. I mean, it wasn't really my favorite video, but a lot of you guys saw it, so check that out if you'd like. So originally, I was supposed to actually get the Bobbi Boss Vera wig, which I'll like insert a little picture. They were completely out of stock in the 613, which is this shade here, which is like a platinum blonde. So I ended up going with the Bobbi Boss Nadine short. I ended up cutting it quite a lot. It was like very high low. I didn't touch the side. And this side was so long. I was like, that's gotta go. So I cut it and I'm actually happy with the length that it's at now. I still like that little asymmetrical look that it has going on. So I'm feeling this so much. <laughs> this next one is Model Model Edges on point 0.702. Oof. I got this in the color two so that it's not too, too dark. It's a very, very, very dark brown, but it goes with my natural hair color very well. This looks like hair that I would have been blessed with, and I should have been blessed with, but I wasn't. That's how much real hair I have when my hair grows out. I look like this. Like two strands. And I usually never do a middle part on myself, but I'm kind of branching out a little bit more. The parting space is very good. It goes like all the way to the back of my head. By the way, like these little baby hairs that you see in the front, I didn't cut those. So with it being the edges on point wig, it actually has pre-cut baby hairs. It's basically like pre-plucked. If you look at it, as soon as it comes out of the package, it's going to look like this. I think I might need to wet it down a little bit or put some product in it because there's a little bit frizzier. There's a little bit of flyaways. But all in all, like are you seeing this right now? I think this could be like my new regular classic wig. At least until it gets too tangly and I can't wear it anymore. And this right here is Lena Sleek. This, I feel like you always have to have a nice little caramely blonde ombre bob wig. I always kind of keep one on deck at all times. I apologize in advance for how trashy the hairline and everything probably looks because I just plopped it right on to show you guys. It is actually supposed to be a middle part and I know I just said I'm trying to venture off. I'm trying to do some middle parts. But no, because this wig doesn't go as a middle part to me. It's got that like mushroomy effect. So if you put it as a middle part, it just goes like this. It just lays there and doesn't do anything. And I feel like if I do it this way, it's got a little bit more movement to it. When you don't have a full lace front though, you just have to pull the wig to the side because it's just got the invisible parting right here. This is what I'm talking about as far as the parting right here. And that's kind of annoying because it scratches your ear where the ear part's supposed to go because it ends up being behind your ear. When I asked on my Instagram what type of ways you guys want to see me do, everybody was like, Long blonde hair, long purple hair, long pink hair, long green hair, long blue hair, yellow fish, green fish, one fish, two fish. I didn't get a single long wig, you guys. I'm so sorry. I already have so many long wigs. They're up here on this shelf. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know how that shit really looks because that's a mess, okay? There's a mess of wigs right above my head. They're itchy, they're hot, they're tangly, and I don't like it. Obviously, I like short hair, that's why I don't have any. I hope you can still enjoy the wigs that I'm showing you. That is it for the beauty supply store wigs. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the Amazon wigs real quick, which I have some pros and cons about, which I'll talk to you about in just a sec. The green hair is back. If you know what's really good on this channel, you know that I had green hair and I freaking loved it. It was stunning and gorgeous, but it had to go and it wasn't trying to come out, so I can never do it again. The pros and cons of buying wigs on Amazon 
are a lot of the synthetic wigs that you're gonna get there are going to be like the trendy wigs. They always have a really, really, really soft lace. I like the shade of the lace because it matches my skin tone very, very well. The only thing is though is that when you're plucking hairs out of the parting space, the lace is so soft that it will rip very easily. When you have a wig cap underneath, it's not gonna be super noticeable, but when you take it off, like there's a hole. And I did that to both of the Amazon wigs that I bought. These do have a lot more lace than the other wigs that I showed you earlier because it's gonna go like about like this. It doesn't go as far back, which sucks. One of the things that gives away a synthetic wig is how short the parting can be when you get these type of wigs. That's not realistic. I mean, you could do like a little bit of this action and do a little flippy flippy. Oh, I almost got like a money green long wig. I think that color is absolutely stunning. But I ended up going for this one instead just because it, it made me feel a way. Like it made me feel something in my heart about missing my green hair. Last but certainly not least, we have this little ginger moment. I absolutely die for ginger hair. I think it looks literally amazing on everybody. I've never seen somebody look bad with ginger hair color. Ever. Ever. The wig's very soft. Like it's extremely, extremely soft, but it's definitely shiny. So it has like that synthetic look to it. I'd have to spray it down with some dry shampoo, fix it up a little bit, but is it not giving you Roxanne vibes from Goofy Movie? That's it. That's all I am. I'm just Roxanne right now. I'm kind of living for this little volume that it's got going on down here. It has a lot of texture to it, if that makes sense. Like it, it has a lot of bounce. Woo! Fire! It's giving me like a little bit of Hollywood glamour as well. The way that it flips over to the side. Ugh. And this is not my natural side that I part my hair on. It's actually this side. But I don't even care because I feel like this is just so cute. If you think otherwise, feel free to let me know, I guess. Alright you guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know I get a lot of requests for wig videos, but I mean like I'm spending my own money on these wigs, so I'm like, we can do what we can. Let me know down below what your favorite wig was and which one you would rock. I don't really know what my personal favorite is. I am kind of feeling that blonde bob, honestly, that platinum, because I know I'll never get my hair to that color in my lifetime, so kind of a vibe. Everything will be down in the description. If you want to see what these wigs look like in action after I make them look real cute, then follow me on Instagram because I'm sure I'll be posting lots of pictures of them very soon. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye guys.